sure I've been going here for like 13 years, so way too long. <laughs> Uh, I've been here about 12 years. Seven years. Uh, I'm a lifer here at Hickory Grove. This is my fourth year at Hickory Grove Christian. I've been at Hickory Grove for eight years. I've been at Hickory Grove for seven years now. Um, I'm on the varsity tennis squad and I'm in student council. This is my second year. And I'm also in Rokap on the VP amongst other clubs. Um, I'm in a lot of clubs and I play varsity soccer. Um, I'm a part of student council. I play multiple sports throughout the year. So yeah, it's just been I am in a lot of clubs and I work most of the athletic games. Uh, I'm in Interact Club and um, I'm also in culinary and I've been doing your book for a very two years now. I play sports and that's it. Um, well, I'm cheerleader. I've been cheering since 6th grade. I'm on student council. I've been on student council since freshman year. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. I do Chips Play Academy. Um, I was in a couple plays and drama. It was about three years. Um, yeah. Um, I'm a captain, of, or I'm one of the captains of the soccer team, and, uh, I go to church here. I'm in a couple of clubs, and, uh, I coach a rec soccer team, so it's great also. Some of my favorite moments are the dodgeball tournament where even though we weren't required to go, a lot of people showed up to support and raise money for the kids. And also homecoming in general, like Spirit Week is always really fun because everybody dresses up and shows their school spirit. Well, honestly, every soccer game brought a new moment for me. Um, you know, from our week falling out in the Westminster game to Mercy Ruling First Assembly in the first half and my goal, which carried the team for the rest of the season, might I add. My goal, you know, happening. Honestly, without me, there is no varsity women's will, so and those are the moments that I'm going to treasure forever. Ooh, favorite as you let's see. Um, me saying the word pimp in Mr. Hutchinson's class, uh, me going and busting through the door first day of school in my 11th grade year, and nobody expected me to be here. Uh, that was pretty fun. And, uh, me spilling water on Tim Smith's guy and him um, in the cafeteria a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was, that was great. I think my all-time favorite memory had to be Amaya Sweet falling out during the Westminster game. I mean, she's still straight though. <laughs> and then I also loved when Meredith just face planted on the field. Like, that just made everything great. Um, those times when we caught the doves and buff pub and being friends with the Maya all these years, this has been great. Just mostly the memories I've made with all of my friends. Um, my favorite moment would probably be ninth grade soccer when we played Ashland Christian in the rain. And then we beat them and we were able to slide down the field to the way. Uh, definitely winning buff pub. Um, a lot of stuff that we've done in soccer has been really fun. And, uh, well, I feel like I almost like grew up here because um, my brothers went here and played baseball and basketball and football, and I always like fell asleep on the bleachers at their games. And so they just need to grow up as a whole and then like family. I'm just really grateful for the opportunities I've had here. Um, it would be super speed because I could get my homework done really fast. Um, probably the ability to like stop time whenever I wanted to so you know I can get a little bit more studying in if I need to or just run home right quick if I forget something. So. Uh, I do mind reading because answers. <laughs> I would want to be invisible just because I would want to be invisible. Photographic memory so that way I can ace all my quizzes and tests. Stop time. Stop time. If I need to study for like a test or quiz, I'm gonna wait, I ain't ready. Boom, clap my hands, stop, stay for a couple minutes. Boom, keep on going. If I ain't like somebody and I want to knock them out without them knowing me, boom, stop time, go behind them, take a bet. Keep on walking, clap, they knocked out before they even know what happened. Boom. Uh, I probably want to have this sort of power of like morphing into other people's, like, like looking like other people, kind of like that, uh, bro, X Men. Just be able to show up with like someone. Um, I'm gonna have to go with telepathy because why not? 
Um, I'd like to fly, because I've always wanted to fly. I think it'd be cool. I think every part of my life represents the student, the senior class. Because, you know, senior class, they can be smart, they can be cool, they can be all this great stuff, and then they can be crazy, sometimes just straight up stupid. But in the end, when everything comes together, everybody still loves me. And that's me. I'm a little bit stupid, a little bit crazy, a lot smart, and all that brings together, you got the perfect man. Right. Um, well, a couple of years ago, me and some friends walked together at a disciple trip group uh, as a grade. And, I mean, it was just pretty cool that we could just bring everyone together and just talk about all of our problems as, as, a, as, a, as a, not as, not totally as a grade, it was like just guys, but it was pretty cool to just see all the guys come together and share their problems. Uh, I would hope to say that my spiritual life I just really love Hickory Grove. Um, I don't know, probably like my school spirit, my passion to get stuff done. Well, <laughs> um, well, I'd say I have a lot of school spirit. I mean, like, whenever we do things for the school, I'm pretty involved and always trying to get hype and hype everyone else up. So that's why. My athletic ability. Um, I just think my enthusiasm overall has just brought the senior class together as a whole. I have a very strong work ethic and I care for the students. And I feel like our grade, we really like to change things and not just say, complain about them, but actually put into action something to make it better. Like I embody that. I mean, it would mean everything because when I was born, I've just been dreaming about this forever. I mean, my first two words that came out of my mouth were homecoming king. So, you know, vote for me. <laughs> uh, it means a lot to me to have something to just carry on with me as I graduate, as well as something to um, have to leave behind me. I mean that people like me, actually, and that I'm real, that people like me. Uh, it would be cool just to see that that many people, like, actually know who I am. Like, our school is a small school, so I'd say that people aren't just voting because uh, they just hear a name and they're, like, just guessing. They actually know everyone that's on the court, on the court so it would be really cool to see Oh, being king. Being king for me. The one thing, the reign of Welch has officially started. It is a reign that will never end. Peace out. I'm gone. Yes, sir. Whoa! Um, I think it'd be really cool just to know that people like you as a person, and it'd be a pretty good thing to look back on 20 years from now. I think it would mean the world to me because a lot of times people in general just struggle with like people liking them and whatnot and like Winning Queen really says that like people care about you and they like you and that's something that's an honor, you know. It would be something really great to look back on when I'm old. Um, I mean like it would mean I have to walk across this whole field without tripping and like that would be an accomplishment in itself. <laughs> Oh, also, uh, shout out to the kitchen staff uh, for all the good talks uh, and to the janitors and to some of the teachers. Love y'all. Respect y'all. Boom. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, just do it.